Unveiling the Vandals, Sacking Rome and the Reign of King Genseric. The Vandals, a Germanic tribe, originally inhabited areas near the Oder River in modern-day Poland. Over time, pressures from neighboring tribes and the lure of richer lands pushed them southward and westward into Roman territories, initiating pivotal interactions with the Roman Empire. As the Vandals migrated, their initial encounters with Rome were marked by both conflict and cooperation. They were alternately treated as federati, allied mercenaries, and foes, reflecting the complicated and often pragmatic relationships between the empire and migrating tribes seeking new homelands. King Genseric, a remarkable figure in Vandal history, came to power in 428 AD. His leadership was characterized by both military prowess and a keen political acumen which enabled him to unify the Vandal tribes and orchestrate their successful movements across Europe. In a strategic and audacious move, Genseric led the Vandals across the Strait of Gibraltar into North Africa in 429 AD. This region, prosperous and strategically crucial due to its grain production, offered a perfect base for establishing a new realm under Vandal control. By 439 AD, Genseric had captured Carthage, turning it into the capital of the burgeoning Vandal Kingdom. From this strong base, he consolidated power, securing control over North Africa's fertile regions and setting the stage for a naval empire that would challenge Rome itself. The political landscape of Rome before the sack was marked by instability and power struggles, weakening its ability to defend against external threats. This turmoil made it an easier target for the Vandals who were looking to expand their territory. Under King Genseric, the Vandals began to build a formidable naval fleet, capitalizing on their strategic position in North Africa. This naval superiority allowed them to threaten the coasts of the Roman Empire and eventually launch the devastating sack of Rome. Religion played a significant role in the Vandal conquests. As adherents of Arian Christianity, they were often in conflict with the Roman Orthodoxy, which deepened the cultural and political rift between the Vandals and the Romans. Genseric was not only a skilled warrior, but also a cunning diplomat. He forged alliances and treaties with other powers to strengthen his position against Rome, utilizing both marriage alliances and political agreements to secure his kingdom's future. The Vandals sustained their kingdom economically through extensive plundering. Wealth accumulated from raids across the Mediterranean was crucial in maintaining the Vandal army and supporting their populace thereby ensuring the stability and expansion of their empire. The justification for the sack of Rome in 455 AD by King Genseric and his Vandal forces was rooted in a complex web of political motives and perceived betrayals. Genseric claimed that the Roman Empire had reneged on earlier promises, including the marriage alliance between the son and the Roman princess Eudocia. This perceived injustice fueled his ambition to strike at the heart of Rome itself. As the Vandals approached Rome, their military tactics were notably strategic. They utilized their naval superiority to blockade Roman ports and cut off supply lines, ensuring minimal resistance upon their arrival. Once in Rome, the Vandals engaged in a systematic and controlled looting rather than wanton destruction, which preserved much of the city's infrastructure. The immediate impact of the sack on Rome was devastating the city saw a significant depletion of its treasures and a sharp decline in economic stability. Public morale plummeted as the once invincible city witnessed its vulnerability exposed and its riches carted away to Carthage. Among the captives taken by the Vandals were significant figures of the Roman elite, including Empress Licinia Eudoxia and her daughters. These captives were used both as bargaining chips in Genseric's diplomatic negotiations and as symbols of his triumph over the Roman Empire. The Roman response to the sack was one of shock and humiliation. There was a scramble to restore order and leadership, as the event significantly weakened the political influence of the Western Roman Empire. Efforts to negotiate the return of captives and stolen treasures were largely unsuccessful, marking a turning point in Rome's decline. Genseric's rule post-sack was marked by astute administration, maintaining a balance between Roman traditions and Vandal governance. He ensured his kingdom's stability through strong naval and military presence, which kept potential usurpers and external threats at bay. The cultural contributions and architectural legacies left by the Vandals are often overshadowed by their reputation as destroyers. Yet in their North African kingdom, they developed distinctive art forms, 
and constructed buildings that blended Roman architectural styles with their unique Gothic influences. The decline of Vandal power began with internal strife and external pressures, particularly from the burgeoning Byzantine Empire. The lack of strong leadership following Genseric's death exacerbated the situation, leading to their eventual conquest by Byzantine forces under General Belisarius in 534 AD. King Genseric's legacy is complex. Historically seen as a ruthless pirate, modern perspectives suggest a more nuanced view. He was a shrewd leader and strategist who significantly impacted the Mediterranean's political landscape during the 5th century. Comparing the Vandals with other barbarian groups, such as the Visigoths and Ostrogoths, highlights their unique approach to empire building and interaction with Rome. Unlike others who sought integration, the Vandals maintained a distinct identity while leveraging Roman administrative systems. Educational and scholarly resources on the Vandals and Genseric are abundant, offering detailed insights into their history and interactions with the Roman Empire. Historians rely on archaeological findings, ancient texts, and recent scholarly articles to piece together the narrative of this enigmatic tribe. In re-evaluating the Vandals' role in the fall of the Roman Empire, it becomes clear that their impact was both profound and multifaceted. Their conquests and the sack of Rome signify pivotal moments that underscored the vulnerability and eventual decline of the Roman Empire.